Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We have completed all the planner setups for 2024. There are so many planners here. So check out the playlist of all the planner setups in my planner lineup because I have my Franken planner here with a ton of stuff in it and these other planners and journals. But today there was one more thing I thought of that I need to get into my planner and that is a cute little cover page for my word of the year section. I saw someone do this on Instagram. If I can figure out who it was, I'll write their Instagram name down below so you can see it and you can go check theirs out. But I have this, my word of the year is Elevate and this whole word of the year journal bundle, which is super cool. And um, I can't wait to use it. I have that linked in my Etsy shop, of course not decorated, but you know, the base printable. But what we are going to do today is make a fun, like, divider thing. So first up, we need black paper because I want it on black. So this is a Happy Planner little stack of different um, black papers in the different sizes. So I am going to grab one of those because we only need one. So... Here we go and get these out of the way again. And then I have a whole bunch of large Mambi sticks that are letters. Okay, here are all my Mambi sticks mixed in with some other stuff. But first I have to figure out which one has um, the correct letters and then decide um, which one to use if I have multiple. So let's see, these I'll go with the one I just pulled out. So let's pull those aside because they're bright and happy and I like them. Another option is just black, but black on black uh, won't work as well. We are gonna have to play with this and figure it out because a lot of these are on clear sticker paper. The pink could be nice. That would be a little different. So let's grab that. Mambi sticks, if you're newer to Happy Planner, um, were something that they used for a while before they came out with the large sticker books that are like wide. So it was, I think they're kind of similar, just these were bigger. Um, so those might be the two options because I don't think the gold really matches with that so well. Okay. Oh my gosh. So many stickers everywhere. Let me put this away before we actually move on and create this. Okay. So, and I have an idea all of a sudden as well. So first let's pick which one. I think pink will honestly go better than this one because like the greens and stuff don't really necessarily go. But will it fit is the question across here. So what I'm gonna do, because this is on clear sticker paper, is put it on white sticker paper and then cut it out and stick it on here so you have the white behind it. So I wanna do that, but then I also just thought to add some of this stuff onto here as well so it kind of is matchy-matchy. So I'm just moving this stack of stuff that I have because I've been doing so many planner things that everything is everywhere. But here, if I can grab it, mm, this is from the other stack. Okay, here we go. We've got some clouds. And don't mind my voice getting over a cold. If you saw yesterday's video, you will have heard all of that. <coughs> my voice was way wild yesterday. This is also really pretty to go with that. So we'll take a look at these as we do it. But let's just try to line up the word elevate. 
and see if it works. Okay, so I'm just going to move this aside so it's out of the way. And do I even have space to put Elevate here? We will see. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens because I'm in that kind of mood. <laughs> All right. Where does it go? Here you are. Yeah, we should have enough room. There's a V. Oh, we barely have enough room. Oh my goodness. Okay. We might have to play with that and move some sticker paper over. Okay. Where's the T? Let's see if we can do this. goodness you guys okay so I don't want it to be super cramped so what I'm gonna do is tear this bit oh that wasn't even a big enough tear oh my goodness okay uh tear this bit and line it up right here for just those two pieces okay that's ridiculous, but it's gonna be good. Okay. Then the question is, do I cut this out as a whole or do I cut out each letter? In which case it doesn't matter where I put these because I'm cutting out each letter. I just thought of that, you guys. I could have totally done that and it would have been way easier. But I mean, also a lot more work because it would have been a lot more letter, like things to get around to cut out. I should probably move down towards the V at least. Okay, so how this is gonna work is that this is gonna go here and be too large to fit there. So we are going to cut out each letter because it is too large and we need to squish them a little bit. So that decides that. <laughs> and then we can perfectly position them where we want them. Okay. We'll put it this way for now. There's a lot of little fussy cutting right now, you guys. But I was really excited when I saw this and I thought it would be really, really cool. Oh, and I think this will work well because then I can kind of offset the letters and it should be fun. So like, let's trim off a little bit more. And this is sticker paper, so I can peel off the back when I'm ready. But I can go, you know, like, put the letters every which way. I feel like I need to get a little bit of something purpley in here, just because, and I should figure that out before I put down the letters, just because the other pages are all purpley. They do have some pink, but they're mostly um, the purpley blue. So. I'm 
once I finished this page, my like planner setup will be complete. And all I will have to do is actually decorate pages for, you know, like the first week and stuff. Some of the pages I've already decorated and I did some of them in the planner setups, but there are still quite a few to decorate like monthly pages and things like that. So it is December 29th. I have some work to do, you guys. It was a shame because we were supposed to have a sitter today, which would have been nice because I was getting over a cold. So I was just going to let her have the kids and I was going to go escape away and be out of the way um, and rest and also do a lot of planner stuff. But she canceled. So instead... I'm doing a tiny bit right now, and then we'll have to find time to decorate everything else later. You know, mom life. It is what it is. All right. It just takes so long to cut out each of these, but it'll be worth it. I think. I hope. I think it'll look better. I think it will. All right, and then this funky E with the double paper thing. <laughs> So we've got everything here and a bunch of scraps. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those out of the way. And then we've got all of this stuff. So these clouds are pretty cool, but they don't show up as well. I do like this one, what if? So it's not wide enough anymore is the problem. But what if some of them I have duplicate papers of? Yes. Aha. Perfect. All right. So, what I want to do is rip to get this kind of like white ripped edge on it. So, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to tape it on, but not, I don't want the whole thing on it because I do want some of the black in there still. So I'm trying to figure out how far up I want it. Maybe like there? What do you guys think? I think that could be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some tape here so I don't put it too far. Uh, this one doesn't want to rip and I got too much of it. Okay. There. And then we'll go ahead and put a bit like here. Here and here. And we will have to then trim this and punch it. Every time I film a video right now, I mention that I'm using this because I ran out of the other tape. And then I keep saying I need to order more of the tape replacements. And then I don't. So guys, if anyone wants to comment and say, order those tape replacements, um, that'll probably remind me to actually order them. So thank you in advance. <laughs> Okay. This will definitely add these colors that we need to it. Okay, so normally I would get out my paper cutter 
to just make this a really nice clean line, but I'm not going to this time. Other thing I'm considering is if this wants to come in at all anywhere. Like if we have this here. Would this look nice on here? Or is it too much? I feel like we could put it like coming up at an angle maybe or do we just want it all the way across like this just over this part oh I like that okay so let's kind of match this one but first we're gonna punch this because or else by the time I put that one on it's gonna be so thick it's not gonna want to punch because this clear stuff is like super thick. Okay, so we did that one and then we'll do this part. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut it right here because it's text, so I can kind of keep it pretty straight. Okay. And then all we're going to do is kind of, sort of, not exactly, follow the line that this follows. And we'll see how close we were to getting something. Huh, that looks pretty good. Okay. We'll go with that. So again, going to put down some tape. This might be a little bit visible, but at the same time, I have to tape it down. I'm going to tear this before I put it down this time. Just put a little stick right there and call that good. I probably should put a little bit on this bottom side as well. Okay. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that. You can see it a little, but it's not too bad. Okay, so this is coming together really nicely. Now we need to punch this one and then we can actually put the letters on. This is so thick, you guys. I hope we don't break my punch. If I can even punch it. Oh my gosh. Ah, that took like a ton of effort. Punch, are you okay? It appears to be working, you guys. <laughs> but that is thick. <laughs> the Happy Planner punches are supposed to only uh, do like three sheets of paper. And this is much thicker than like three sheets. Okay, let's see how we want to space this out. If we cover this little thing, you can barely see that. Then put this one down here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll start here though just in case I need to shift anything. Uh, let's see, so if we're doing this 
this one needs to go down first. Come on, sticker. There we go. Those ones aren't wanting to come up, but that's okay. All right. Right there, yeah. Okay. This is really coming together. I'm really excited. I think it's going to look great. And it's taking longer than I thought to put it together, but I thought of all this other stuff at the last minute, so. You know. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Here. And yeah, we're gonna go like that. Okay. So today I was gonna try to film like four videos and get ahead, but since the sitter canceled, here I am again filming a video for the night, like the night before that I wanted to post. But the thing is, is that I had this goal of doing a video a day in December and I skipped Christmas, of course, but I'm so close to that goal and I'm just like, I wanna make it. So now we are gonna fussy cut this and make it a Dutch door because why not? Because that's what I do. I make Dutch doors. Every chance I get, I add a Dutch door to something, apparently. It didn't used to be a thing, but it is now. Okay. I think I'm just gonna curve this one a little more. And there we go, our little title page or whatever you want to call it. So then put it in here and it just says elevate and then you flip it and you have the word of the year journal with scraps. Okay, get rid of that. And there we go. So cool, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now my planner setup is complete. So again, I have all my setup videos on my channel in a playlist called like 2024 Planner Setup or something like that. So check it out if you want to see how any of these are set up. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.